With Illustrator, you don't have to be limited to filling your closed shapes with just colors. You can also fill them with patterns and with gradients. In this tutorial, I will show you how to, <laughs> sorry, get rid of a bunch of stuff here, pull that down. I will show you how to uh, find pre-selected patterns and pre-selected gradients, as well as build your own gradient. I am first going to go to my swatch panels. If you don't have it, you're going to go window and then go down to swatches and then make sure the check mark box is clicked and it should pop up on your screen. I have some patterns pre-selected over here that I had been working with earlier, but for those of you that don't, you can go to the bottom left hand side of the swatch panel, click, and find different kinds of patterns by saying pattern. Uh, you can choose between basic graphics, decorative patterns, or natural patterns. And Illustrator does provide you with some. If you go to adobe.com, you can find uh, free downloads of uh, patterns that people have created that they want to share. Or you can make your own pattern, which I will talk about later in Designing Digital Art 2. Uh, I'm going to choose Decorative Legacy and just see what comes up here. And if I oops, pull that down, I can, I'm can. i going to try and find some green ones because I'm working with a pair. Um, and I already have a lot of greens. I'll start filling this pair in. So I'm going to pick this for my fill color and make sure live paint is checked. And I can come and fill my pair with not only colors, but patterns. can also go back and fill with colors as well using a combination between colors and patterns. Another way to add a little bit of visual diversity to your images is to incorporate gradients. You do this the same way by going to the swatch library. You can go down to gradient. And let's say fruits and vegetables might be a good one to check out, but you could check out any of these. Um, and I can just choose from here, it gets loaded onto my fill area, and then I can fill with different gradients as well. Let's say I want that. Uh, let's say this doesn't give me enough variety. I am somebody, I want to make my own gradient. And to do that, I'm going to double click down here right below my uh, stroke and fill, or rather I'm going to double click on the fill 